it's been a long time since a news story a video has pissed me smooth off and i say that because i feel like my ancestors and my granddaddy spirit is coming out of me because i i tried um not to tear up when i was watching this video i'm gonna quickly roll the clip for you all and then i will come back with my commentary the Aurora Police Department now at the center of a new controversy. Officers putting a family in handcuffs, mistakenly thinking they were in a stolen car. They were not. It is just the latest in a string of controversial decisions made by Aurora Police Officers. And tonight, just as we hear from that horrified mother, in the last five minutes, we learn Aurora has named a new police chief. Vanessa Wilson is the new chief. She's been working to address this incident along with the growing calls for changes in policy, transparency, and accountability. Denver 7's Addie Guajardo joins us live tonight. Addie? Well, Shannon, the Aurora uh, city manager is recommending Vanessa Wilson. They're still having to make that final decision on the next interim police chief. He addressed it today, saying that she has taken on head on some big issues, including firing those officers who mocked the death of Elijah McClain. There has been a lot of backlash from that firing. We heard the Aurora Police Association called her unfit for the job, but today we're hearing a different story. Wilson has been with the Aurora Police Department 23 years and today just 30 minutes ago. I want to read this to you before we launch into our story today. She released a statement on behalf of the Aurora Police Department apologizing for a family that was wrongly targeted and held at gunpoint. We have that story. There's kids. It's these cries and screams. Brittany Gilliam can't bring herself to relive. That, that's terrifying. As a parent, that's heartbreaking. Gilliam says she was searching for an open nail salon while sitting in a parking lot on Bucklet and Iliff in Aurora. And she's screaming like, hey, hey, auntie, the police. When officers pulled up from behind. They got their guns on us. They got their guns on us. Gilliam was in the SUV with her six-year-old daughter, 12-year-old sister, and two nieces, one 14, the other 17 years old. Police say a license plate reader alerted them the SUV was stolen. You keep saying that a vehicle is stolen, but you're not to, you haven't asked for a registration, a license, none of that. Gilliam was detained and her sister and niece were handcuffed on the ground. The whole point of you being a police officer is to protect and serve for the people. You did not protect and serve. You put a gun on four kids. It turns out the stolen vehicle was actually a motorcycle, not Gilliam's SUV. Both vehicles share the plate number, but they were from different states. Interim Police Chief Vanessa Wilson weighed in. So the mistake is that um, the officer was going off of what dispatch told them that was confirmed. So he was acting in good faith that that was confirmed. Two officers apologized, but Gilliam says the damage is done. I don't accept the apology. No, I don't want to hear that apology. A traumatic situation, she says, changed her daughter's perception of police. I hate cops. That's exactly what she said. They're like the guns thrown on kids. Aurora police say it's part of their unwritten policy to pull a gun during a high risk stop. At what point was it high risk when you just barely pulled your gun out? Gilliam is now calling for change. Get a new damn policy. So as you see in the video clip, there was this black family in Colorado, Aurora, Colorado, I believe it is. And apparently two weeks previous or a month, I'm not sure if there's that time frame, they reported their car stolen, but they got their car back and they were sitting in a parking lot. Um, I believe someone went into a store or something and they were waiting for their relative to come back to the car and the police surround them, pull them out of the car and force them on the ground. Now, apparently they were looking for um, a stolen vehicle, but according to the article, the license plate that they were looking for belonged to a motorcycle. So they, the police department came out, called the family to apologize and offered support for the kids who, they, who may have been traumatized by this event. So what makes me the most upset about this story, which is probably one of the main reasons I decided to start my channel, 
was the fact that you cannot tell me that you would ever see a non-black family placed on the ground with their, how old were the kids? I believe there was a six year old little girl, a 12 year old girl, and a 14 and 17 year old girl as well placed on the ground. I don't think I will ever see a six year old blonde haired little girl placed on the ground by the police with her hands behind her, her back. So, so I'm really upset about this video. I'm upset because I have young family members, I have young nephews, I have a niece, and myself, I'm black myself, and if this could happen to this family, this could happen to me. If this was a, like on for, with another group of people, the majority race, let me just say, they would have pulled them out, the kids probably would have been told to sit over here, but I can promise you the kids wouldn't have been lying on their stomach with their hands behind their back. And in the video, I think what really got me a, a lot was the crying in the video. I'm not sure if it was, I'm not sure who was crying. I'm not sure if it was the little kid or one of the older teenagers. In the video, when I was watching them crying, I, I felt two emotions. I felt like, girl, don't cry, don't let these subhumans see you cry like don't you be stronger than that and then another part of me was like I completely understand because when I'm upset and I feel like I've been wronged and I feel like any righteousness or anything that right should happen in a situation can't happen like someone got away with something so horrible I can't help but cry like because it burns you to your soul that people can treat you less than and they can get away with it so it says um Gillum, which is the last name of the family, and two others were placed in cuffs as cops accused of her of being in a stolen car. Like, how simple is it to run the plate, pull up in your system, call into dispatch to see that this current car is not even, it's not even reported currently as being stolen. On top of that, like, it says the plate, uh, according to Aurora PD cops, received a call of a possible stolen vehicle and Gillum's had a ma matching plate in description but turns out the plate info was for a motorcycle registered in another state. This is not a mistake. The plate they were looking for was for a motorcycle not even in Colorado. They saw a group of black people sitting in a car and they wanted to harass them. Sorry, it's really making me upset and you know when you have people you know, I've done a, a couple Karen videos because people like Karens um, affect people who look like me and they've done a lot of damage with calling the cops on people who look like me. Yes, they affect everybody. Yes, the Karens, they, they will bother you no matter what race you are, but disproportionately, they affect people who look like me. And so when I start my channel and I have people up unsubscribing to my channel because they don't want to see these new stories, a part of me at first was like, no, you know, I completely get it. I totally get it. Some people just don't want to be involved in the craziness that's going on in the world. And I completely understand. But at the same time, if you're one of those people who left because you want to turn a blind eye to things that are happening to people who look like me, then I am glad you're gone. And don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Because I'm going to talk about stuff like this. I'm going to whoever 30, 40, 50 people watch this. Thank you and make sure you share this video. Make sure you share it on your Facebook. Make sure you share it on your Instagram. Make sure you like and subscribe to get these videos rolling because YouTube is very selective when you talk about videos like this. And when you talk about videos like this, they don't like to advertise them. They don't like to promote them or allow advertisers pretty much on your channel. Um, so it's like you're doing the videos just to do them, but I'm doing them because I'm passionate about them and I care about what's happening to people in my community. Um, yeah, so I just, I don't know. This story really upset me a lot. It's one of the stories out of all, I think all, out of all the stories that I've done on my channel recently, this one probably made me the most upset because these people look like people who could be in my family, cousins, you know, uh, sisters, nieces, um, aunts. So yeah, I was really upset by this video and good thing I did it today because I read about it yesterday and I was kind of tearing up. So 
you know, I'm not tearing up today because I, you know, holding my composure for the video. So uh, I will see you all in my next story.